Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is D, located in Georgia Zone 8A. On today's video, I'm going to go over the and like give you an update of the status of my seedlings and just show you what it looks like. And uh, and then I will also show you other things along the side as well too. So are you ready? There you go. This is the status of my seedlings. As you can see, they are dead, except this row right here, this bed, and I believe these are color greens, and they're not even doing that good either. I want to almost consider them dead too. So, let's talk about why it happened. It's totally my fault. It's my ignorance. It's not that I didn't know. It's not that I didn't have the knowledge. It's just not that. For some reason, I ignored it. I ignored what I knew, and and that led to this. So, why it happened? First thing that I ignored was temperatures. During the day, temperatures were, you know, it will go up to 50s, 60s. You know, they're pretty good. They're cool crop seasons, so they survived during the day. <laughs> But at night, the temperature dropped like 90 degree, especially the night that I actually planted them. They were exposed to very cold temperatures that they did not get quite, what's the word I'm looking for? Acclimated, like introduced. <laughs> so unfortunately, that was the main reason why they died. Uh, second thing was the timing so when I plant them there were Brussels sprouts color greens they were um, cabbage and there was also and broccoli okay there were four different cool season crop however one of the packets said and this is totally my fault and I'm gonna read this to you. This is for the cabbage. Start seeds indoors six to eight weeks before last killing frost in spring, and then transplant them outside when the frost danger is over. Do you know how many times I read this? Again, I ignored it. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know why i ignored it i just don't know what happened to me that i didn't see it i didn't understand what he said no that's not even the case i think i understood what he said i just forgot maybe i just didn't take it serious i was like oh you will be fine but no that's not what happened so definitely the timing and definitely the uh when it's supposed to be planted and what else so, what I think is, can you plant them during that time? Absolutely you can. I really do believe you can. But, however, if you want to do that, you have to cover them and protect them from the cold, danger, weather. And uh, if you plant them and you just ignore the signs, and they, they're just going to die. <laughs> and another thing that I want to say is, when I plant them, I said to myself, well, they're going to be just fine and I'm not going to be sad or upset about it and they should be good. I'm not going to worry about it. This is just experimental. That's not what happened. When I came here and I saw them dying like that, it really hurt my feeling. I felt like I let them down. My seedlings are dead. I gave all this effort to grow them because they were so beautiful and lush and green. They were so strong. And then I let it happen. And it really hurt my feelings. I honestly have to say that. I, sh I wish I had done something different. But unfortunately, it's a very unfortunate event that all my, almost all my seedlings are dead. But I want you to all know that I did write this down on my journey 
when I planted, what happened, what I could have done, what happened, all the temperatures and date and times, I have everything written down, so I do not repeat this again. Now, will I do it again next year? I absolutely. However, I will definitely take consideration of the temperatures and also what the packaging says in the back. So, I want to show you something though. Um, as you know that I have garlic planted in here and they are doing awesome. So first one I want to look at is the one that I transplanted in the first ones. Look at them. They are doing really, really good. There are also some that I planted uh, later on around the also other part of the raised bed and they start to poke out and they're looking really good too. So let's look at those. Look at them. They are doing so good. I don't know if you guys can see it. They started to come out all over. Also there are some um that is that I had that I separate them and I plant them on the other side as well this and I fertilize them too and they are doing pretty good as well so let's look at those so I have lettuce these are romaine lettuce and I have them all around the edges and all around the edges of those and also some over here too all right okay so let's talk about the layout and i'm still working on the layout and i think i have made my final decision and i want to show you what i have in mind those two raised beds they're going to stay right there i like them where they are and i'm probably going to do all the like um peas spinach green onions all that stuff going to go in these two raised beds also, I start to put together those raised beds together, this right here. Just so you know, they were not easy to put it back together. Um, I just, it was very hard. So here, right here, I'm gonna have four of these raised beds right here lined up, and they're gonna have flowers, but nothing else. So those are for pollination. Um, I'm gonna, I have like pollinator seeds that I'm gonna put in there, and gonna attract all the good stuff for my garden also another project that I'm working uh, this is probably gonna be this week I'm gonna plant some good onions um, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase them from like Home Depot and they are gonna go to the four raised bed right over here they're gonna go on the edges of this raised bed on this side and that side and over there so on this raised bed I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have green onions peppers and tomatoes and very soon I'm gonna go ahead and install this right here on all of my all of my raised beds things are coming along nicely but very slow and that's because most likely like because of the weather it's cold it's rainy I don't want to be out here doing all that stuff so that's and then of course I have a full-time job and I do work a lot of hours so it's very hard for me to come out here every day every evening and do yard work so most of the stuff that I do is in the evening on the weekends <laughs> but everything starts to come along um, very soon uh, probably right now it's February 21st so by March first week or second week on March I need to order my dirt that goes into the new raised beds and then I have a little bit of mulch that I can put in this raised bed. I still haven't decided what type of trellises I want in here. So there's a lot of work that's coming up and I can't wait for all this to be completed. Also, I need to fertilize my grass too and prepare them for springtime. So there's a lot of stuff coming, but I have to put all my stuff there, all this stuff. I can't wait to clean this out. I'm just so dying to to get like clean it and throw it away stuff. So this is it everyone. There is not much going on except losing my plants. <laughs> but 
lesson learned. It's noted. It's written down. So hopefully I don't repeat this again. Hopefully I have a very uh, good plan in place before I do anything like that again. So I hope everyone learns from my mistake and not do what I did. But I will see you guys again on the next video. You all have a good evening. Bye bye.